How's it going everybody? Driver53 here with a console map tour of Rustic Acres. If you're looking for a console perspective of this map, stick around. Welcome back everybody. This map is really, really cool. Um, Kaz64 did an amazing job here on this American map. And I just want to say it's really, really cool to see when a modder takes base game stuff and shoves it together and makes you think that it's a, a mod available somewhere else. Um, this is actually two of the base game buildings stuck together. Did a great job. Did it over here too. And we'll get into the details on all that equipment. But really quickly, let's go ahead and get into the details. So first off, today is February 22nd, 2021. Uh, this is release 1.0.0.0, and it's 175, 179.75 megabytes. Once again, this is by Kaz64. Has done some amazing, amazing maps on PC, and I'm really, really excited to see this one here on console. Now, if you like worker-friendly maps, this is definitely, definitely for you. It's not a lot of huge fields. I think it's only 46 fields. Yeah, 47 fields, and you get a couple grass fields also to go along with that. And let's go ahead and take a look at our equipment. So the first thing you're going to see is a silo right here in the middle. It's really, really nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at the capacity on that. So it looks like it's going to be 100,000 liter capacity, and you do start out with some crops in it. Um, not a lot, but it's pretty good. And if you go across, you see that you have no other storage options for anything else. So you're going to have to bring in your own uh, silo for all of that type stuff huge huge building right here like I said this is actually two of the base game buildings stuck together um, he did a great job placing these and the same thing over here on this and while we're over here let's take a look at this equipment so you're gonna have a nice farm tech trailer you're gonna have the nice Josk and water trailer you're gonna have the super bison with a header and a corn header also you're going to have the Fiat 1300 DT. You're also going to have the, oh man, <laughs> the, uh, the Fent Favorite Fit 515C. You're going to have a stole front end. You're going to have a bucket. You're going to have bale spikes. You're going to have a plow. That's a really nice one, actually. The Agro. You're going to have a nice cultivator, a cedar. You're going to have a planter. You're going to have a fertilizer spreader. You're going to get a mower here. You're going to get a teeter, tetter, sorry and a windrower. You're also going to get a baler. So really, really nice starting equipment. So what land do we have? If we come across right here, we can see that we own fields one, two, and three. You also have the main farm and you've got all the animals. So every available animal in the game you already start out with. These are all base uh, pins. They're not modded anyway at all. So you can get um, you can add more in, and they're going to be exactly the same. Um, let's go ahead and take a look here and see on prices. So, like field number one is about 101,000. Field number two or three is 231. Ooh, I'm kind of worried on price. 87,000 here for this one. The main farm is going to be 186. Your animals are all going to be individual, so about 30,000 for the horses, 82 for the cows. Sheep's going to be about 30, and your pigs are going to be about 51,000. And then every other little spot that you see. Oh, we got a. Oh, you can't own that one right there. I do not understand why this one is 117. What else do you get with it? Ooh, maybe there's gold or oil on that one. I do not know. That is a crazy price for that one right there. Um, but as you see, we keep coming around. There's more spots. You're going to be able to buy everything individually. Tons of access points for everything. The biggest field on the map, um, let's look right here. About 8.75 is going to cost you a million. Wow. Yeah, that's going to be the biggest one. I mean, they these pieces of property are not cheap, y'all, at all. You've also got some forest areas up here and over here. This is actually split up. I oh, mean, 2.9 million for that and 1.5 almost for this one. Wow. So our BGA, if you want to buy it, it's actually going to run you about 170,000. So let's uh, just run over here really quick. Well, actually, we're going to hop in our tractor here. 
Is everything already attached? Oh, everything's already attached. We'll just take it with us. How about that, everybody? So we're taking this one because it's going to be a little bit faster. We're going to run over here and look at our animals really, really quick. And I also want to show you another little spot over here that if you want to expand even farther, uh, Cat64 has already hooked us up pretty, pretty good. So you've got this big, massive flat area right here that you can uh, do whatever you wish. I mean, this is absolutely amazing right here. And I really like all the elevation that's going on on this map. You know, all the changes and stuff with the uh, different pieces of scenery. So you got another little spot right there. That'd be a great spot for a silo. So, like I said, you're going to have your horses. You're going to have cows back over there. Next is going to be sheep. And then pigs down on the end. And they are all base game, so they're all going to function like normal. So, let me go ahead and throw on the mini-map here. There we go. And we're going to come up here, and we're going to head off to the right. And there's so many roads here. It, I think you could get lost, but I think it'd be easy to kind of find your way back again. So, we're going to head over this way to this side of the map. There's a couple of cell points around here, and I will see you guys at the first one. All right, so we took a little detour, and I wanted to show you this right here. Let me go ahead and bring up the mini-map again so you can see where we are. We're really close to field number 41. This is a huge open spot, um, paved, flat, absolutely great. Let's look and see how much it costs. It's going to cost you $202,000 if you want this spot right here. It's not a bad deal. Uh, you can't really do anything with it unless you want to plow it up and turn it into a field. But next we're going to go over here to the animal dealer. And this is going to start a our tour around all of these cell points and everything like that. So once again, we have the big bull right there. So your animal dealer is going to be right here. This is where you're going to be able to buy at. You can pull inside that building. So if you wanted to put a trailer or something in there to store it out of the way, you definitely could. Uh, this right here is not actually anything, just a decor. Looks really, really nice, though. If you come around over here, this is going to be a cell point for you right here if we look on the map let's take a look at it so the manure sales awesome and next we're going to go up to uh, western grains just right up the hill that green building you see up there so it's really awesome they actually added a manure spot into this map i know not all of them the new ones have it um and you all been as we've been driving over here i've been looking at these fields they are really big and they have a lot of room you know like worker friendly for sure you could expand these out if you're not big on workers or if you just want to anyway so this is i believe western grains again so let's go ahead and take a look at prices so if we come down to western grains you're going to see that it's going to take all your basic stuff except for uh, oats doesn't look like oats are going to be here but it's also going to take potatoes and sugar beets and sugar cane that's really really awesome and if we go back and we look at that manure sales which was the last place that we were at, we come across, you're going to be able to sell manure and slurry there. So awesome. And let's uh, come up over here. We're going to go up to the ranch now, and I'll meet you guys over there. Just look at this field right here. Let me get over here where you guys can see a little bit better without the trees. I mean, you're going to be able to expand this out so, so massive if you wanted to. Uh, not saying you have to, but he has given you tons of opportunity there. You got another little spot right there that if you wanted to do something with, a little trailer park maybe. That'd be pretty cool. But we're coming up here to the ranch. And if we turn in right here, come around, you're going to be able to see this ranch looks very, very familiar. Um, it's just kind of organized a little bit differently. You got an area over there you can uh, exercise your horses also. And if we look here at prices on the ranch, it's going to take all your normal seven crops. It's going to take potatoes, sugar beets, and sugar cane. It's also going to take eggs and milk, and that's it. So awesome. Next, going to the sawmill. See you guys there. Here's one of those uh, forested areas I was telling you guys about. Trees, I mean, they're not really, really packed in there, but they look like they're pretty easy to be able to get to. And then right next to it is going to be the sawmill. So if we come around over here to the other side you know what we're just going to cut through here entrance is over there come right through here this is going to be where you're going to sell your wood at and your wood chips are going to be over here on this side so that side of the building is going to be your lumber 
and this side here is going to be your wood chips and another little spot right here if you wanted to do something here let's take a look at the map oh look at this view y'all man we are way up on a hill here that's really really cool i like it a lot so let's take a look at the map and where we're going to go now is up here to the spinnery and then we'll come over here to the uh, rustic port so we're just going to make a counterclockwise uh trip around the map but i'll see you guys over there at the spinnery right here is your spinnery you're going to drop all your stuff off i'm pretty sure it's going to be over here i don't see any markers though i don't have any with me but here's your spinnery this is definitely what it looks like so we're going to keep coming around and we're going to go over to the rustic port now and it's that big red building oh, if i can get out from the trees the big red building right over there that's where we're going it's right next to the water all right i just wanted to show you this one more pad right here really really nice and big um kaz 64 definitely mentions in the description that if you're into multiplayer stuff this is a great map for that lots of opportunity to be able to build your own farms um but this right here is the uh rustic port let's take a look at prices so if we come down here so it's going to take all your seven regular crops it's going to take potatoes sugar beets cotton awesome it's going to take your sugar cane and straw also perfect that's nice to have another option for that so you're just going to pull through the building thunk all right that's one right everybody one all right, so now we're going to keep coming down here next to the coast. And a fun, interesting fact about this, you can get out in the water. Um, there's certain spots along this that you're able to get up there and out and float around. Um, and then there's other spots that you can't. So kind of search around, see what you can find. All right, so we've got another sail point right here in the middle. That's number two. But uh, we'll take a look at the map here really quick. So we're at the Eastern Mill over here on this side of the map. And the Eastern Mill is going to take all your base game crops. It's going to take uh, potatoes, sugar beet, cotton, sugar cane. And that's it. So we'll keep coming along here now. And kind of tight so i don't know if you can get super big trucks in there but now there's going to be a uh, gas station up here on the left and another spot that i believe you can put some more equipment if you wanted to and your fields are just right there i mean they're nice size fields really really nice size fields so beautiful houses all the way along here um oh actually this is your shop i'm sorry this is where your shop is so it's a cloth dealership it's gonna have everything that you need in there work on them right here buy more stuff right here i don't think that's an actual buy point for lime but next is going to be our uh fuel station right here and then we're going to go up this road oh oh number three we're going to go up this road right here over to the b and that's fire hydrant i think that was number four so we're gonna go up this road right here to the BGA. And sorry about the camera, everybody. I'm on PlayStation. I'm using the uh, the mod where I don't have any conflicts, and it's um, these trees next to the road being so close. They're uh, I don't know. I'd prefer them to be a little bit farther away for stuff like this, but I understand you want bigger fields. So I mean, I like big fields too. I really, really do. Just for things like this, it doesn't make it the best. We can fly over top of them. How about that? So we're going to come up here and take a look at this BGA. It's a really, really nice one. It's got some good bunkers. So you can come over here, and there's multiple ways into it. The one we just passed, you're going to have another entrance down over here. And that, where I tried to go, was not one. So you're going to have two bunker silos you're going to be able to get into. Your digestate is going to come out on this side right here. And this is your digester right there. So 
It's everything you need to know about the BGA. All right, so we're going to keep coming along, and let's take a look at the map and see exactly where we're going to go. So we are right here, really close to the farm. Um, so if you need to do something for your cattle to be able to make some TMR or silage, whichever, you can just use these bunkers right here as long as you own it. And like I said, it's not cheap. We'll take a look again. 170000 So not absolutely the cheapest one. Um, but what we're going to do now is go over to the old man's mill and then the restaurant. And then we'll just keep going around that way. And uh, we'll end up back back over here at the bale sales is where we're going to end at. So we've got about six more places we need to go. There's a lot on this map, and they all seem to be on the outsides. So we're going to head over to the old man's mill now. All right, so here's this one place right here by the two palm trees. It's a pier right here by the rocks. And this is where I was able to get up there. See all the pedestrian traffic? Now, if you come walking up here really nice and slow, you kind of hit a barrier. So you got to jump over it. You gotta find the right spot. There we go. Alright, so I was able to get over here now. And like I said, there's a barrier wall right there. And I don't think you're supposed to be over here. But I was able to. And it's really fun. You can get out here and walk all around. Uh, go down into the water if you want to. And uh, the lighthouse, I've been not able to get to it. I actually was able to get on the rock over there. But that was as far as I can go. And you can come all the way out here and get out here too. So it's really, really cool. I mean, we are totally off the map. So, yep, see? <laughs> All right, we're gonna head back over to the tractor and make our way down to the next spot. All right, so right here is the old man's mill. You're gonna be able to pull up right through here just like all the other ones. And let's go ahead and take a look at the prices and see what all is available here. All right, so here at Old Man's Mill, you're going to be able to have all of your standard crops, and then you're going to come across, and you're also going to be able to do potatoes, sugar beets, cotton, um, sugar cane, and that's it. So, awesome. The next place we're going to is... Oh, where was it? Oh, the restaurant. That's right. So we're going to make our way down here, and I'm hoping that this restaurant takes eggs and milk. So... All these out here, I wasn't able to um, get out onto these rocks. There's a really, really good barrier right there. Um, but if we come around here to the back side of this restaurant, just like in Ravenport, you got your cell point right here. And then you come on around. So either way in, either way out. But let's take a look and see what all is available here. So at the restaurant, you're going to be able to sell all your base game stuff or all your normal crops. Potato, sugar beet, no cotton. Uh, sugar cane, it's gonna take eggs and milk. And that's it. All right, so now let's look and see where we're gonna go next. We're gonna turn the corner. We're gonna go to the biomass heating plant and then the old grain mill. Perfect, so it looks like it's just right around the corner. And there's another one. That's five, y'all. They, they technically hit me. I didn't hit them, but. So another spot right here, if you wanted to put something in, perfectly flat, nice, nice. And I mean, these fields, they just, they're really, really awesome. And I think you could really combine some of these together, uh, no problem. Another little grass field right there on the right hand side. And if we keep coming down here, I said this was gonna be the biomass heating. Oh, this looks very familiar. Very, very familiar. Ravenport. So, there's your sale point right there for wood. Let's make sure that's exactly what we have. And I don't see it. You know, I also don't see the other, the BGA. All right, so let's see how much biomass heating plant's actually gonna cost. I can't own it, but I don't see it showing up that's very very interesting huh I don't see the BGA and I don't see the other and when I select this you can see that I actually can't buy that area now the biogas plant I can obviously let's see if we if we sell this 
really quickly and come over here and buy this. Now can we see the BEGA? Yeah, I can see the biogas plant, but I can't see the other. Does it come with? No, it doesn't. All right, everybody, I am unsure about how to get anything there. I mean, I, I guess it's just gonna be a sale point that you're just not really gonna know the price. So we're gonna come out of this. We're gonna keep going down around here on the bottom side of the map. Man, so much room here. So much room to be expand these fields out. It is absolutely crazy. You guys can see here, I'll come over here. You can see how much area there is here. I mean, you own all of this when you purchase this and this is just grass. So I mean, if you want to do grass, obviously, but man, so much room here and every field has an entry point. I mean, they may be a little bit more basic looking, simple looking, but it, it doesn't matter. They're still really, really nice. So another sell point here on the right hand side, we're going to come through here, right up into here, out the other side and right there. And let's take a look and see how much it is. Old grain mill. So old grain mill, all your base or standard crops, potatoes, sugar beets, cotton, sugar cane, no eggs or milk, and that's it. Awesome. So we're gonna come back across. We're gonna go to the dairy now and then up to bale sales. I just can't get over how much room you have on the edges of these fields. That was close. It's really, really cool to see that. So it looks like you're gonna have to enter from up here in the front. And it looks like right here is gonna be your sell point. Perfect. So let's take a look at prices. At the dairy, you're gonna have eggs and milk. Eggs are paying really well here right now. Awesome. So we're gonna go up this road that we were just on for a little bit, up to the bale sales. Let's see what uh, this place is all about. Come down here and get a good view. So this is heading back towards the main farm. Uh, there's nothing really over in the right hand side in the bottom corner uh, on the right. That's where all the logging area is. But this is going to be your bale sales right up here. It looks like it's going to be right there. Yep, we just passed it. Perfect. So right there. Awesome. And that bale sales is going to take straw, grass, hay, and silage and that's it perfect so we're gonna head back over to the main farm and we're gonna look at the uh, equipment in a little bit uh, more detail over on the uh, the menu page instead of just walking by at all and once again y'all don't forget about that big plot of land right there that you're gonna be able to uh, purchase if you want to I mean there's so many spots around here you can build a farm this is a really good multiplayer map Tons of trees for you to be able to make money on that way. Or just you know, take them out with the tracks. Either way you want to go. And field number four right here. Uh, it's just nothing but trees. That's that one right there. So they look like they're fairly spaced out. Get that. Expand your farm out a little bit. Ooh, we need to go in this way right here. So. Once again. Everything that you see on the map is a in-game placeable. So you're going to be able to sell all of it. No problem at all. Um, let's take a look at that menu now. So this is your garage. You're going to have easy sheds. You're going to have your farmhouse, obviously. Your easy sheds, two of them, those are the ones that are put together. You're going to have the easy shed number three. And these are put together to make one really long building. You're going to have your grain silo also. It's 100,000 liters, and it holds just the base seven crops. You're going to have a large chicken coop, and that's going to hold 400 chickens. Horse paddock is going to hold 16. Sheep pastures, 250. Cows is 200. Pigs is 300. You're going to have the weight that we've been carrying around. You get the bale spikes. You got the bale fork or pallet fork. You got the bucket and the stole front end. You've also got the water tank, the uh, baler. You have a windrower, tether, mower, fertilizer spreader. You have the cedar planter. You have this cedar. 
Uh, you have the cultivator, plow, you have the corn header, you have the regular grain header, you got the farm tech trailer, you got the super or the Bison Super Z056, the Fiat 1300DT, and the Fent Favorite 515C. As you can see in the top, 610 slots is what you have right now. So still plenty of room. 690 or 689 slots still to be able to do something with. If you want to start and start from scratch or farm manager, you don't have anything here that we're seeing right now. And it's 420 slots. That is absolutely amazing. 879 slots you have to work with. So, I mean, all this stuff's not even 200 slots. That's not bad. So, that's going to be it, everybody. If you enjoyed the video or you learned something today, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to be kept up to date on all my latest console map tours, think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell. Have a great day, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.